why it's me. Like you can figure that out. Get on the tall cat scratcher, Yoda, and you can see outside without stretching your your fat, wrinkly neck. Okay, hi, I'm back. I think. Anyway, yeah, since I didn't get back to you last night, lucky you, about why I don't like holidays, I thought I would do that now while I'm wasting time before I go to the store to get some groceries. Don't freak out, they're not for me. They're for other people. Well, like, other people, but like from me. Like, I'll get to that later. Well, no, I'll just tell you now. Um, as I put my big hand in front of the camera. I'm voguing. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah. I decided that for Thanksgiving, I... I'm going to go to my aunt and uncle's. And it's a good thing that I... And I called my aunt last night, and it's a good thing that I did, because it's just going to be her and my uncle. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm glad I called, because I don't want you guys to be by yourselves, so it's just going to be me and them. Oh, that's like, oh, that's not... I mean, I didn't ask what the rest of their family was doing. Well, her family, I mean, my uncle's family consists of me and my mom and my brother. Uh, well, and, the, and their kids, but their kids are, like, spread out across the United States. And one's in Japan. Japan or Thailand or somewhere over there um yeah so spread out across the United States and there's like only two of them yeah one's in Pennsylvania one's in Missouri that's spread out across the United States anyway yeah um get your facts straight Kim um yeah so it's like oh I feel like that's not right that they should be by themselves so I'm like oh I'll come over I mean, I asked if they needed help, like, preparing their food, and she said no, you know. Um, no, I think Uncle John will get, like, a, it'll make him feel good preparing it by himself. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll bring, I'll bring a dessert. What do you, what, and my Aunt Carol was like, make apple pie, because I love apple pie. So I have to go get things to make an apple pie. And normally I would make my own crust. However, I do not have a cutting board that is... Big enough to roll out the crust. And I don't think I have a rolling pin. I need to get that. Well, those two things. I am going to start a running list of things I need. And put them on, like, a Christmas and birthday list of things that I will never receive. Don't make a mess with that litter. Um... So yes, unfortunately, I will buy a crust. I feel bad. I feel like so, I feel so guilty that I am buying a crust. You have no idea how bad I feel. Because if I can make it, like, I want to make it. And I really want to make my own crust. However, I am unable to. Because of my lack of equipment. I have nothing to roll it out with. I mean, I could probably roll it out with, like, a can. I could. I could roll it out with, like, a tin can. Well, not a tin can. Like, a can of, like, I have a can of pumpkin. You know, I could roll it out with, like, the can of pumpkin. You know, but, um... On what? Like, the table or the floor? That's unsanitary. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I could if I, like, sanitize it, but... Still, I don't think that would be clean. But no one would have to know. But I'm still not going to do that. No, I'm not going to. I swear that I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to buy it. I'm just going to buy it. And then um, I have to buy things to make chocolate chip cookies. Because my friend that was here Friday night, I was like, I felt bad because, you know, how I made him the lasagna. And he said it tasted good. So I was like, ooh, phew, pass that. Because I would have felt like so bad if it tasted horrible. Or Gavin, or Gavin, Gavin, or Gavin somebody. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to go for English. Um, or if I had given someone like the craps or something, I would be like, oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. So who dodged that bullet? Um, so I was like, oh, I felt bad because last time I didn't have anything to give him. 
I can't. Oh, you're my guest. I must send you home with a gift. Um, who, who cares about that anymore? I do. So I sent him home with a bottle of cranberry juice. Here, take this. So I will, you cannot sit on my lap. Um, I'm going to make him chocolate chip cookies for whenever he comes back. So I need to get the supplies. Um... Yeah, but I don't have to make those now, so I just want to be prepared. But then it's like I have to make the mashed potatoes and gravy and pumpkin crunch cake for the Thanksgiving dinner for the residents at work. I mean, I'm not going, but I offered to make it, so it's like I have to bake like 10, the 10 pounds of potatoes. Hopefully that's enough for like 40 people. I mean, do you think 10 pounds is enough for 40 people? Oh my God, it better be. Should I get more? I don't think so. I don't know. Is 10 pounds enough for 40 people? I'm freaking out now because I don't know. Okay. Small potatoes have to have small portions. They're lucky they're getting anything. So yeah, 10 pounds is enough. Yeah, 10 pounds is enough because mashed potatoes, like, potatoes go a long way. They make a lot. Okay. Okay, problem solved. Okay, yes, 10 pounds is enough. Okay, so it's like I have to make that. I mean, the apple pie I can make, like, Thursday morning. But, like, the mashed potatoes and gravy and the pumpkin crunch cake I have to, like, make tomorrow. Because I'm not going to have time on Wednesday because I work 3 to 11. And then, like, Thursday, I'll just, like, warm them up in the oven. What did I, why did I offer to do that? I mean, I was trying to be nice, but just, like, and it's not stressful. It's just, like, getting it to, to them, like, warm. Because I have no place, nothing to, like, warm them up. Oh, God, Nugs, what the heck? Don't spit up on the bed. I swear, I will pet you and tell you it's okay if you do. Um, special needs cats. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not stressed out about it, but it's just like, oh, what did I, I mean, I don't know. This girl who's doing it just was like, she was trying to do something nice, but I don't realize, I don't think she realized what a project she was undertaking when she decided to do this. What? Um, because these people aren't going to say thank you. They're not going to be grateful. They're going to be pigs. You're going to have to serve them. You can't let them serve themselves. Otherwise, they're going to like... It'll be like feeding time at the hog trough. And that's why I told the manager. I'm like, it's going to be feeding time at the hog trough. I mean, it's going to be like they're putting the feeding bag on. <laughs> These people, like, don't get it. And they've been there longer than me. I've been there three weeks and I already have it figured out. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, yes, I have a lot of cooking to do. And I don't even eat. I don't even eat and I have to cook. I have to cook all this crap. This is why I don't eat, because I don't want to cook. I mean, I like to cook and I like to bake. I really do. I really do. I love it. But, I mean, not like any of this. I want to do it for someone who's going to appreciate it. I mean, my aunt and uncle will appreciate the pie. I feel like I should make something else. I don't know. We'll see what I can find in the store. Maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's like this. I don't eat. Well, because I don't get hungry and I'm trying to lose weight. But it's like I don't cook because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't because I'm too lazy. Um, because it's just me. So it's like I don't. If it were like me and someone else. If there were someone else here for me to cook for, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but it's just me. So why would I cook? I don't want to clean up the mess. 
and I don't want to buy. I don't want to spend the money on the, the food. I don't want to spend the money on the ingredients. That's why I don't eat. Because I... <laughs> yeah, okay, why? Okay, why am I doing this? And I was going to talk about why I don't like the holidays. Okay, this, <laughs> this is why. Okay, here's part of the reason. Because it, it just is just... Makes me do things I don't want to do. It makes me feel like I need to volunteer to do things I don't want to do. Cooking the pie for my aunt and uncle, I don't mind doing because I love them. I love them. And they want me to come over and it's like the least I could do is bring something besides myself. But like, at work, it's like, okay. I just started working here, but I really don't mind helping, but it's just like, it's making a problem because she's like, bring it, bring it to like three or three thirty, And it's like, okay, what if I'm not going to be home at three or three thirty? Maybe I have some place I have to be then. I can bring it earlier. I mean, really, it's like, what if I'm not going to be home in the afternoon? Maybe I'm going to be somewhere. Anyway, okay, back to the point. Sometimes I have points. Okay, why Kim hates holidays? I used to love holidays. My foot's asleep. Okay, I hate holidays. I used to love them, though. I used to love holidays. I am getting comfortable. I used to love holidays. I used to dress up for holidays, like even going to school getting dressed up, like... And even if it was like a holiday that didn't require, that didn't like, like you couldn't dress up for, like for Halloween, I would always go to school dressed up. Even in high school, I would dress up like in a Halloween costume or like for Christmas, I would dress up as, I would dress up as an elf. I would dress up in an elf costume and go to school. Um, or I would dress up in like colors for the holidays, like for Thanksgiving, I would wear like orange and brown, um, I wonder what happened to that shirt and those pants that I would always wear. Um, or for Easter, I'd wear like springy colors or Valentine's Day, even though I hate Valentine's Day. That's like the only holiday I don't like. I hate Valentine's Day. We'll get to that when it comes along. Um, I wear like red for Easter. No, I said Easter. Um, St. Patrick's Day, I'd wear like, well, you know what? Like, I used to love holidays. I used to love holidays. I have like holiday socks. I would wear like holiday themed earrings, like in headbands. I used to love holidays. I would give people Valentine's Day cards, even though I hated, always hated that day. I used to give people cards. I would give, I, I, I loved holidays. I loved them. They were fun. And I just, but then sometimes I would feel bad, like especially around Christmas, because like I would want to give people things. I would want to give people presents so bad because I loved them. Like my friends, I loved my friends or like my teachers and my family. Like I would want to give them presents so bad and I would always feel bad because I couldn't and I would get sad. And then my mom would always say, um... I don't know, but like my mom would just try to make me feel better and just be like, oh, Kim, you care too much. You would give people the shirt off your back if you could. But it's just don't don't feel bad about it. I know you just people know that you care. And I'm like, oh, but I feel so bad because I want them to know that I care. But um, so in that way, the holidays made me sad because I couldn't give people what I wanted to. But OK, holiday time started to like not be so great um like when I was when I got married because like I kind of told you like a little bit about that how like my husband treated me like crap and everything and like hit me and pushed me and punched me and yelled at me and called me names cheered on me and all that other crap but however like that made me hate the holidays because, um, like, in the beginning, like, I tried to, like, make the holidays fun because I had two stepchildren. And I thought, oh, kids, you know, we can make the holidays fun. Well, like, I had never met two kids who, like, didn't give a crap about the holidays. 
they didn't want to like for Halloween they like really could care less about trick-or-treating like like they would want to go trick-or-treating but they didn't like care about like like I tried to teach him like the system like the best way to hit the most houses and the amount of time they were just like yeah whatever just I'm like okay do whatever whatever I don't care um in Christmas like they could care less about putting up a tree and decorating it and making it fun um for Halloween like or in the fall um or autumn whatever um I would try to do things like oh like okay carving pumpkins they didn't care I'm like let's carve pumpkins no we don't want to let's make caramel 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 apples oh no we don't want to like I tried to do that with them and they're just like didn't want to do it color me strikes they didn't want to do it um whatever it was I tried to do with them they didn't want to do it I'm like you guys are just not like human children what are you guys, pod people? So it's like, okay, well, I guess that ruins that. Because I always thought, I mean, I know they aren't, they weren't my kids, but it was just like, I always thought like, ooh, if I ever have kids, I would love to be able to like do things with them that I did as I, when I was a kid. I'll like scratch that idea. And then, um, oh crap, I gotta sneeze. Sorry! Up there. <laughs> okay, I'm better. Um, but then, um, okay, like when it came to cooking meals on the holidays, um, whether other people came over or not, it's like I had to buy the food cook the food, clean up everything, put everything away, and then by the time, like, I would be able to eat, I wasn't even hungry because I was too freaking tired. I mean, really, I mean, not like I eat really a lot anyway, but it's like I was too tired to even freaking eat. So it's just like, screw it. I'm just gonna put everything I'm just putting everything away and I'm just gonna sit down or go to bed no help no offer to help here Kim let me help you clean clear the table here Kim let me help you wash these dishes here Kim let me help you set the table here Kim let me do something no if anything, it would be, here's me, like, trying to, like, prepare the food or do something with the food. And while I'm doing that, oh, Kim, I need this. Kim, do this. Kim, blah, blah, blah. Or yelling at me in the background, you stupid bitch, blah, blah, blah. Or what the fuck do you think you're doing? Blah, blah, blah. Complaining. Like, I couldn't do anything right. Oh, thanks. Happy holidays, you too. Hold on, my nose itches. Look the, look the other way. Okay. <laughs> um, what else? Okay. Or um, when it came to like a holiday where like you gave, gave, had to, well you didn't have to, but where you like give gifts. Like Christmas or... Um, Christmas or, I don't know, Valentine's Day. Jesus Christ, what did I tell you? Now I have to use the lint roller on my sweater again. Um, you love me though, don't you, Yoda? That's why I love my cats. Because they, they were there for me when I needed someone. <laughs> um... Well, because I've had them for like seven years. Well, I've had Yoda for like seven years. Nugget, I've had him for like five, maybe. They were there when I needed someone. Okay, back to my story. Um, oh my God, okay. Um, yeah, when it came to like a holiday where you like gave a gift, like Christmas or 
Valentine's Day or even my birthday. Um, I never got anything. I mean, and I'm not saying that I want, want or wanted anything because I could care less about gifts because that's not like the point of the day. But when like the world is going to end, if Kim doesn't buy everybody else a gift, if if it's the end of the world, if Kim does not make sure everybody else has something, because if they don't, they throw a hissy fit and have temper tantrums and whatever. Yeah, everybody else has to get something. Otherwise, it's Armageddon. But yet, Kim is Kim sits by Kim sits in the corner with like crap, with zilch, nothing, not even a card. Even on her birthday, not even a card. And then if I like complain and say something, it's like, oh, oh, here's five bucks. Go to the dollar store and get yourself some, some shampoo and conditioner or something. It's like, oh, thanks. 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 The thought is so overwhelming. It fills my, my soul with warmth. <laughs> Nobody cares about Kim. Nobody ever thinks about Kim. Kim has to think about everybody else. Kim has to do everything for everybody else. That is why Kim hates holidays. Kim has to do everything, yet gets nothing in return. Granted, I have had two years since then to... Um, like experience it in a different way. But I've just been so, so depressed. I've just been so depressed that I haven't like allowed myself to experience